Web animations are a great way to add eye-catching visual content to your web pages. Quickly create an animated response to an event like a mouse over, a mouse click, or a screen touch. For example, the items can fade in when first displayed, can have a wobble animation as you mouse over it, and a different animation again when you click the item. You can also trigger pop-up layers or pop-up text, and you can have objects reveal themselves as you scroll down a page. To make all these things happen, just right-click on the object you want to animate, and then choose Web Animation. You'll see three tabs giving you control over how your animated object will behave for a mouse over, a click, or a touch if you're designing for a touch device, and a reveal. So for a mouse over effect, you've got a whole bunch of different effects you can apply here, as well as a speed for the various effects here. You can apply some pop-up text here, and to see what your animation is going to look like, you preview it using the onboard preview buttons here. Let's see what this looks like. There are a couple of other options. You can have the mouse over call a pop-up layer here. First of all, you have to create a layer here in the page and layer gallery. Right-click, new layer. Make sure the object you want to pop up is on the layer. Here's a photo, for example. Now, back in the animations dialog, you'll see the layer you just created in the drop down here. So select the layer and then choose an effect and a speed here. You can also choose whether or not to have the pop up close automatically or not. If you choose to close it manually, a little cross appears on the pop up. Let's see what this looks like. The remaining option is the Document Default Settings. This setting affects objects on the mouse off layer. It's the general default setting, which you override for individual objects when you give them their own settings, like we've just done. Now moving on to the second tab, we've got the Click Touch Settings. These are pretty much the same as the mouse overs. Again, we've got the effects and the speed and the default settings for all objects in your document except for the ones you've made individual changes to. The third tab, the Reveal tab, lets you control how and when the object comes into view in the browser window. So in the top section, you can set an animation type as well as a speed and a delay for the animation. And when I preview, you can see the Reveal animation as the object comes into view in the browser window. I can opt to have the Reveal just the first time the object appears, or every time it appears. The bottom section lets me set a trigger object, which will cause the reveal object to appear when the trigger comes into view. So, here's my trigger object. I have to name it up here on the toolbar. Then over in the animation dialog, I find the trigger name in the list, and when I preview, my object won't reveal until the trigger comes into view.